Welcome back Morales to a new video in which I'm gonna show you how to get all the NFT transfers for any wallet. It's gonna be on Aptos blockchain and we're gonna use Morales API to get the data. Now for this example you can see on my screen that we can see the different NFT transfers. For example we have Aptos Mingos, we have Aptos Tickets, uh, we have Aptos Monkeys. And we can, we can see the name of the specific NFT to which address, uh, what kind of event it was, so we, if it was withdraw event or deposit event, and the time when this happened. And we can easily paste another wallet address, hit submit, and then we can see the NFT transfers for that specific wallet. Now, this is pretty cool. I hope you're excited to see how to build this in just a few minutes. So stay tuned and I will show you how. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. To make this happen, we need to have a Morales account to get our own API key. Now we have the starter plan, which is for free, but that's good for getting started. If you're serious about building within the Web3 space, go ahead and sign up for the pro plan and it will take your dApps to the next level. Now, once you've created your account, make sure you log in to your admin dashboard, go to Web3 APIs, and here is your API key. Once we copy it, we can use this inside our application and I will show you how. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code and have our root folder created, which is the get aptos NFT transfers by wallet. And within that one, let's have a backend and the frontend folder. And we're gonna need to install a few dependencies. So we're gonna need node fetch, express.env and course. Then let's create a .env file and paste our API key in there. Once we've done that, create the index.js file and import all the dependencies so the fetch express course and the .env library should be imported. We're gonna set our port on 5001, but that's totally up to you if you want to use another port on your device. Then we're gonna set the options object and we're gonna use our Morales API key in here. And we get this key from the .env file like so. Then at the bottom, we're gonna listen to our express server. Now this express server is only gonna have one endpoint and it's gonna be a get endpoint on slash get wallet transfers. We're gonna take some parameters in here from the frontend client, which is gonna be the address we want to get the NFT transfers for. And then we're gonna add it like so in the endpoint request to the Morales API. And once we get the response back, just return status 200 along with the response itself. Now let's head over to the frontend folder and it's gonna be a Next.js application. So make sure you set that up and also install Axios because we're gonna need that to do the request to our backend server. In our page document, we have index.js. So it's gonna be very clean. We're just gonna render two components, the header and the main, which we have inside this components folder. And the header is the logos and the title. So that's pretty clean and pretty simple. But within the main component, that's where we do everything. So first of all, we're gonna need to import use state from React. We're gonna need Axios and also the CSS file right here. Then we can declare some state variables. We're gonna need show result, result and wallet address and they're gonna be set to false, an empty array, and an empty string. Then once you start typing inside the input field, we're gonna have this onChange handler and we're gonna run this handle change function, which takes the input field as a parameter uh, or the value inside the input field and we're gonna store that within this state variable, which was an empty string. So once we have the wallet address in here, we can use this value right here when we send this as a parameter to the backend server and this is happening within the handle request function and we run that function when you click the submit button so what happens we uh, first of all we empty the input field because we have the vol value already inside this state variable and then we do an axios get request to our backend server on the correct endpoint that we just set up and we're sending the wallet address as a parameter 
and once we get the response back i can console log it like so or i can save the data inside this state variable and then i can set the show result variable to true because now is the time when i want to display the data so once show result is true we're gonna map through the result array and Remember that every item within this array is an NFT transfer. So we will eventually have the same object within every item, but with different data. So we're creating two sections right here. So one is gonna hold uh, the keys, so to say. So it's gonna be like a key value object, right? So we have the collection name, we have uh, the name, the two, the event and the time uh, key. And then the second section is gonna hold the values. So we get this from NFT.CollectionName uh, we get uh, the nft.name to display, we get the address, but we don't want to display the whole address, right? We just want to uh, slice it so it doesn't take over the whole screen. And I can show you right here, as you can see, this is what I mean. And lastly, we have what type of uh, transfer or transaction this is. And actually, this is the last one, so it's the timestamp for when this transfer happened. And you can see we're splitting it, splitting it so we can get the date and display that beautifully. Now, that's it, guys. You don't need more code than this. And this will only take you a few minutes to set up both the backend and the frontend server. You can obviously clone this repo and I will link uh, the repo below this video. You can clone it and have it set up in just a few seconds. But this is what you will eventually have. And you can see how easy it is to use this. You just paste in a wallet address, hit submit, and there you have the NFT transfers for this specific wallet. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can use all this to build your next dApp or include this into a bigger dApp that you're actually building right now. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button and I will see you in the next video.